Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 21st, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. One moderate M-class solar flare to report the last two days. Other than that, it's been hanging out in the C range. There's been a couple CMEs, but not in an Earth-directed fashion. Having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming. Cresting into view, another large sunspot region. And as well, active plasma prominence all across the surface of the sun right now, as we've been noticing an increase in that recently. Welcome to Solar Maximum, which is Solar Cycle 25. Having a look at the last 40 hour, 48 hours outgoing, that's where we saw the M-class solar flare. Multi-spectrum, another way to look at our sun, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. M-class solar flare outgoing. It did produce a coronal mass ejection. But when it's not an Earth-facing event, it's not to worry. Plasma filaments, keeping an eye on those as well as building coronal hole region in the central region, equatorial region of our sun, right in between two very large sunspot regions, which I've been documenting the last couple weeks. Having a look here, 171 angstroms at an active 10 sunspot regions that are Earth-facing right now. Having a look at these sunspot regions in motion, Images really sped up. Incoming here. And then another view. Massive black holes on our sun. Thanks everybody for following along. Please don't forget, give a thumbs up and a share and a comment. Space weather conditions. Currently, we are under R1 radio blackout impacts. Expected weak or minor degradation of high frequency radio communication. Solar winds are coming in at 324 kilometers per second right now. And that has been steady around that speed. Solar X-ray flux just recently updated M-class solar flare. But this is the M-class solar flare from two days ago. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity. Hanging out in a two range after being up to a three. Spiking the last couple nights. Now let's have a look at... Iswar, or sorry, the space weather prediction spiral showing Earth and our sun and all of the space weather heading our way. Looks like we're in the clear here for a few days, as long as we don't see any more coronal mass ejections. Stay tuned as it will keep you updated on what our sun is up to. Having a look here at the Iswar space prediction spiral, as well as showing Mercury going retrograde. That is pretty much done now. Lasco 3, showing the last three days of events. You'll be able to see a large coronal mass ejection, which was outgoing, and as well some backside activity right there. And just recently being reported, another M-class solar flare. Looks like it was a level 5 M-class. Amazing images here, brought to you by Lasco at Soho. Now let's have a look at earthquakes past 24 hours. As we're up, we're slightly up above average. Most of the activity there at Hawaii. Deepest earthquake the last 24 hours, 565 kilometer depth, Fiji. But still very quiet for the region. Pretty deep earthquake here. Timor Leste, 304 kilometer depth. Active throughout and around the Banda Sea. Just recently, an earthquake here off the coast of Japan, Namiro, Japan. And as well, continuing aftershocks off the coast of Kamchatka. Looking across the North American plate, not too much to talk about. Having a look at USGS as they're reporting 325 earthquakes in the past 24 hours. And I tell you, it was up last night with over 250 of them being at the Hawaiian island. Having a look here across the United States, minor activity, Missouri, Marston, and as well through Oklahoma State, very 
large fracking operations going on around there, as well as Toya, Texas. All across the California basin, there's the most recent, and as well so notable activity here west, north, and northwest of Yellowstone Lake. Minor seismicity being reported here today. Pacific Northwest, minor activity continuing. A little bit worrisome. Now let's have a look at Canada earthquakes, as I don't broadcast them too much, but we've been seeing an increase here off the Juan de Fuca and northward. And as well, notable earthquake here, 3.1 magnitude. Tanko Mine, Manitoba. Obviously some mining operations going on there. And then looking across eastern Canada, from Ottawa north through the St. Lawrence, 3.2 magnitude being the largest. And that's a look at earthquakes for Canada. I wish they could coincide them all together. But unfortunately, Canada is doing its own thing. Until then, we do it this way. Now let's continue on here around the world. Notable activity through an active volcanic region of Guatemala. Notable earthquake here, Cruise Bay, Virgin Islands. And as well, our largest earthquake the last 24 hours, Argentina reporting a 5.5 magnitude. 5.0 magnitude earthquake here being reported, Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Notable activity here, Tibetan Plateau. That's the last 24 hours. Give you a quick glance at the last seven days for shakers. Largest being the 7.0 in Kamchatka. Simultaneous volcanic eruption at Shavaluch. If you haven't seen the latest volcanic activity report, they're inactive and erupting 65 volcanoes around the world. If you haven't seen the video yet, please like and share, comment. Get humanity knowing. Stay aware and prepared, everybody. If you live in an earthquake prone zone, heads up, have a plan. Hashtag no fear here. Now let's have a look at Zoom Earth showing Ernesto as it's now attacking Dublin and parts of the United Kingdom. That scooted straight across the North Atlantic very quickly, bombarding the United Kingdom and Ireland. Look at its pathway from the Central Atlantic. Here are three tropical systems building in the Pacific. Pacific Cyclones. Now let's have a look at world weather forecast showing here the low pressure system, which was Ernesto inundating parts of Northern Europe. Another system moving in for the long range. Looks to be about four systems coming in this week, but high pressure ridge through most of Central Europe locked in. Overlooking the United States and Canada for this week, you're going to see a big extreme weather event across the north central plains of the United States and as well Canada. And then next week, same thing, big systems here barreling out of the Rocky Mountains and northward. Heads up, things are going to be very warm for another week and a half still. Not much is changing off the coast. High pressure ridge that's really locked in place. Having a look here, South America and Africa, extreme weather through Argentina, parts of Paraguay and Bolivia. That's going to continue for about four days straight, as well as some pretty big systems building through Central Africa. And that's where the systems build for the Atlantic hurricanes. We're going to be keeping an eye on the long range forecast through the Atlantic there could see a very busy outro to the Atlantic hurricane season. Overlooking Australia, low pressure system coming into parts of southwestern regions and as well rain, lots of it for New Zealand. Pacific typhoon there developing, making landfall for the 25th and 26th southern Japan. Other than that, no major typhoons or cyclones here to forecast. Leave you here overlooking the Pacific Ocean. This is that huge high-pressure ridge I was talking about. 
that's been locked in for a good couple months now, all summer long, does not show any signs of budging as we've got a very warming planet. We'll see what happens here with these low-pressure systems as they're all being scooted northward over the Rockies. Having a look at our upper-level winds, this is our southern polar vortex right now, pointing out in the bottom there, 469 kilometers an hour. Very fast upper-level solar winds right now being projected on our planet and have been for the last few days. We're going to see big changes in our magnetic field, my friends and family. And this is all connected to the magnetic field that drives our engine, drives our brains, drives our hearts. It's all electromagnetic energy and we are all connected. So much love to you all. Having a look here around the rest of the world. Southern polar vortex. That's what it looked like last year. And this is what it looks like now. 2023 and now a little bit strange and a little bit stranger much love everybody and i really appreciate you being a part of this community and this journey through all of the earth changes that are unfolding across our planet this is a look at our northern polar vortex right now stay tuned winter coming quick days are getting shorter Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.